okay, so, <coughs> sorry. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I kind of stole my hamster. Um, so first I'll just get her out. So, this is a nutmeg. Hang on, let me focus. This is nutmeg. So basically, so how, where do I begin? Um, I would, I finished work early, basically, um, because I was really, really sick. And then when I arrived in my area, because my work is like an hour away from where I live, and, um, there was this new pet store that was open in the market. Um, and then it was really chaotic. There was a lot of children there, and there was just them carrying animals, and, um, a lot of the workers freaking out, and just, like, basically it was chaotic. It was just full of people, and everyone was just there, and I, I don't know why I went in, but I think I, I was, like, sick, and I was, like, I was in the mood to just kind of, like, look around. And I normally don't really like pet stores, like I like looking at pets because I think they're really cute. But, you know, the feel of pet stores isn't that great because they're all kind of like caged up and stuff. And I went downstairs to where they sell like big, big bits of dog food and everything. And in the corner of the store, there's this little hamster, like outside of a cage and outside of a box and just like at the like absolute corner. And she's just like like freaking out and she like her heart was beating out of her chest and like she was basically like having an anxiety attack and when I saw her I was I, I didn't know what to do I was just kinda like holy shit holy shit holy shit so I kind of just went to the corner of the store where she was and without thought like I wasn't thinking I was just like I wanna I wanna help her out and I just kinda just grabbed her and put her in my backpack and just walked out of the store and when I started walking um, home which was like five minutes away from the store, I was like, holy shit, I have a hamster in my backpack. And I was really, I was like, whoa, what the fuck just happened? I was just like, holy shit, what the fuck just happened? And um, she's freaking out and I start to think like, I'm not gonna throw her away or give her away. That's like the first thing I was thinking of and she's in my backpack. So I'm like rushing home so she doesn't have to like struggle in there. And when I came home, I was like, Shit, this is this shit just got real. Like I have a hamster, and I was not planning for it. And normally I wouldn't get a hamster because it's just such a typical pet. I would like to get maybe something weird or something bigger. But yeah, and so the first thing I did was I took her and I went to the shower. And I know you're not supposed to wash ham hamsters, but I had no clue. So I just kind of like wanted to wash her just to make sure she's like clean and everything. So I took a shower, I was completely naked to her, and I kind of looked at her and I was kind of like, you're being vulnerable to me, so I'm gonna be vulnerable to you. You can look at me naked, you know? And so I kind of held her while I showered and like just washed her a bit and hang on. I kind of like just held her like against my chest while I was showering just so she could like stay still because she was freaking out. And she peed on me. First thing she did was pee on me and I was like, holy shit. She is the one, she is the one, because she just fucking peed on me. And I thought she was just, sorry. I thought she was just so fucking, like, I don't know, I felt like I wanted to help her out. I put her in a box, like a cardboard box, and um, she was still freaking out. She still had, like, this anxiety attack. And then I found a bigger, like, plastic box, like, container, and I put her in there. I put some, some fabric in there, and then some, like, random wooden toys for my wooden toy house. And then I had I had to start googling like what type of food they eat. So I think the first thing I fed her was probably like apples, and I had like a couple like nuts. <laughs> that sounds really bad. I had like almonds and stuff, and I just like put them in my mouth to get rid of the salt, and then like broke them a bit and gave them to her. And then she really liked um, like dried cranberries, and I just started feeding her stuff that I saw on the internet that I could. I came up with the name Nutmeg when I was walking home because I was like, I don't know really why, but I was thinking, I was thinking of drugs basically, and I was just like, what is the name because that I could call her? And I just Nutmeg came in my head, and I was just like, okay, I'm gonna call her Nutmeg. And the way she responds to me is not when I just say Nutmeg, but it's when I say Nutmeg. She, she, she knows it's me. So every time I come home, I slam open the door, I turn on the lights, and I'm like, Nutmeg! She's like this, you know? But um, when I started to hold her and play with her, because like I want, 
I want her to be like a free hamster basically, like where she can just kind of walk around. I don't really like keeping her in her cage a lot, but I do that when I leave the house. But when I'm at home, she's generally free with me just hanging out on my bed. She was still really scared for the first three days that I had her, where she kind of like sometimes bite my nails and stuff like that, but I read that it's like completely normal. After a couple days of having her, I got paid, so I bought, the first thing I did was buy her a cage because the box was just kind of like not her thing, like it was kind of clear, so she always wanted to like climb out and stuff like that. So I got her this cage and it's like here, and it's like two floors and it's pretty small. It's pretty small, but um, it has an exercise wheel and everything, but she doesn't spend a lot of time in here anyways, because if I'm at home, she's outside She's outside of her cage, you know? I just let her run around in my bed. I have so many videos with her, and I've really, like, learned to love her. Like, she's so comfortable with me right now. I feel like I cured her anxiety because she can just, like, Every time she sees me, like, she's excited to see me. Like, I know she loves me just as much as I love her. If her house is great and if she's happy, I'm happy, basically. So I got her, like, different types of food, like, so many different types of food, just to make sure she has a variety and finding out what she likes. And she really responds to the color pink. This is her favorite um, blanket because if I do have her outside her cage, um, she, she sometimes doesn't want to just run around and stuff. She wants to sleep. So I, I put this, like, blanket in, like, a um, cardboard box and then she kind of just like sleeps there and she can sleep there for freaking like three hours and she likes she likes I don't know she likes pink and she has this exercise ball which is just this clear ball that you screw on and she runs around in the room and she freaking loves that like she runs super fast and super crazy uh, I've lost her a couple times because I let her free in my room there's been a lot of times where I lost her I I've always found a way to find her I mean my room's a pretty big mess but Yesterday I lost her for like the longest time and I was really fucking scared. I was scared that I would find her a couple days later like from the stench of like a dead hamster. But I found her and she was actually in an old handbag and she was just sleeping and when I woke her up she just kind of looked at me like, you know, she's really really cute and I have, I have more videos of her and more photos of her than I have of my own selfies. Um, and what scares me is because I'm leaving Taiwan soon and I don't know what I would do without her because she seriously, like, when I'm sad, she makes me so much happier. Like, I like her affection, and, um, so that's basically how I kind of stole my hamster. Okay, fuck. So the Tumblr quote of the day is, I may not be good at math or science or art or poetry, but oh man, I am good at fucking things up and leaving when things get too hard. That's really depressing, but I like that because that kind of sounds like me, so. Anyways, I hope everyone's having a lovely day, and...